Hi, we're having a trip today with Jay's family. It's my first time to actually go out with the family, so I'm really excited. I don't have a book with me for the day, but I will be bringing my Kindle, of course. And I am actually um, starting a book from Nicholas Sparks, The Wish. You can never go wrong with Nicholas Sparks. From my previous couple of books, I didn't actually enjoy the reading experience, but I know I will enjoy The Wish. Like, I'm already sure I can give this 4 to 5 stars. So. Let's see more. So I'm just going to work a little bit, prepare, and go out. So. Somebody, I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long way home Avoid what I can let go Sometimes I do, cause sometimes I drive through All of the streets we used to, on First Avenue Cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first All of the turns that I had to unlearn Back to the surface, the feeling of all that we were I don't always think about you, till First Avenue when I do I don't always think about you But sometimes I do Cause sometimes I drive through All of the streets we used to On First Avenue Cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first All of the turns that I had to unlearn Back to the surface, the feeling of all that we were First Avenue, that's when I do I always think about you, but sometimes I do Cause sometimes I drive through All of the streets we used to On First Avenue Cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first All of the turns that I had to unlearn Back to the surface, the feeling of all that we learned I don't always think about you Till First Avenue That's when I do
salita ng hindi nagre- hindi ko man lang napapansin hello I am 56% through the wish and I know I may have said this already before but you can never go wrong with Nicholas Sparks well if you viewed my previous vlog I suffered quite a lot of low stars low rating reads in the past weeks. I needed a comeback. I needed a good read this month. So I went forward to Nicholas Sparks. It was a difficult task to pick one book to read next. To be honest, I am not a good judge of book covers and synopsis. Minsan, I thought it's interesting and it's maganda pot. I ended up DMFing those books. Anyway, the Wish is following the story of Maggie Dawes. She is a famous blogger slash vlogger and a travel photographer and a cancer patient. It was actually, she was actually in a trip. If I remember it right, nasa beach setting siya when she was photographing the sunset or something. Um, when a stranger, which is apparently a doctor, noticed her parang dark spot somewhere in her back which is apparently a symptom or a sign of melanoma melanoma is one type of skin cancer if you don't know she co-owns this art gallery they got even more sales when she got even more famous on youtube sharing her story or cancer story or patient journey kind of a vlog where she shares her experience, her treatment, etc. So everything about her cancer story. It inspired a lot of people who some of them or most of them visited the gallery and purchased a an art or a piece from from her or even from her partner. So yeah, so search of sales is equal to needing more help in the gallery. So they hired this young man named Mark. Smart, he is intelligent. He knows art, he appreciates photography. So there's no reason why not hire him. So during the Christmas season or Christmas break, the all associates of the gallery and even Maggie's partner have their Christmas break parang I don't know if it's so big long but it's a few days so naiwan si Maggie and si Mark who volunteered to stay to Asikaso the gallery and you know continue the sales during the Christmas so instead of spending those Christmas days individually or separately they actually had more time bonding Maggie eventually shared her life story to Mark and I don't want to get into this story but this was about her her months being pregnant at 16 at 16 years old so very interesting kind of touching I couldn't relate kasi medyo matanda na ako nung nagka-baby ako but the feeling of fear and excitement I can relate it's a really good read the writing is perfect it's easy to read it's smooth it's it's light at the same time very emotional I'm still 56% through but I recommend this book if you need an emotional read, emotional yet light read, The Wish by Nicholas Sparks. So, I'm not sure if I can still share more books on this vlog or baka next. But my next read or my next book is 
Beautiful World, Where Are You? by Sally Rooney. This won the best choice for Goodreads Fiction for 2021. That's why I am really excited to look into this book. Um, although last time I checked, this was rated by 3 point something stars lang. Unlike The Wish or other books nominated for the best choice for fiction, which achieved for almost five stars but this one she points something so i am very curious why tumatawa si ni mo ng tulog tapos na i was thinking of picking one classic but i'm not sure if i want a small book or a big book Kasi gusto ko sana ng makatapos ng isang classic which is I sure will kapag ito lang yung pipiliin ko yung maliit lang. This one are Wuthering Heights. But I also want to start the Iliad because it's December and I have more time after Christmas for the Christmas break. So mas madami akong time para basahin siya. So I'm not sure yet. I can't decide. Siguro Mamimili ako after I finish The Wish or after I finish The Beautiful World, Where Are You? But for now, I will finish The Wish and I tried um, reading books na magkasabay but nalilito ako, especially now that I am uh, quite busy at work. So yung utak ko medyo hindi gumagana. Or gumagana siya, pero in a way that I want it to work. So, isa-isa lang. I don't want to get overwhelmed. It's already Christmas, so dun tayo sa light. So, that's my update for now. Lang muna. And see you when I see you. I found somebody I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that Your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long way home Hi! It's the 23rd of December already and I have just finished my third book for the month Anyway, I'm not sure if I already shared, but I have also finished The Holiday Swap by Magina. I rated it 2 stars because it's kind of... I didn't... I enjoyed it, but it's kind of cliche and it's not very romance feeling feeling for me. Maybe because I am already familiar with the story and totally predictable and... I don't know. The next book I have finished, it's actually an audiobook, the book of Lost Names. I'm not... Ah, I shared this a previous vlog. Now I remember. But I rated it 4 stars. And then I finished another romance book. Excuse me if you hear kids singing Christmas carols. Use them, pinatawad ko na sila, patawarin na lang din. The Wish by Nicholas Sparks and... Well, obviously, five stars. It's one of the best books I have read this month. The ending, though, is kind of not so surprising, but a beautiful twist for me. I actually saw it. But it turned out that it's... And I think it made the book better. The part where Mark read the letter from Aunt Linda about it made me cry a little. You know mo, ikot ako ng ikot. <laughs> Kasi it's sad. The ending was a bit sad. But the ending, yung pinaka-ending, the pinaka-last part was sweet. And I guess that's the best part of the book. Like, Nicholas Sparks ended the book with the minimum greatest, but the best plot twist for the, for Maggie. And yeah, I can't even say more.
I will also start Beautiful World Where Are You tonight after Church McKendall kasi nasa baba siya. But I also have started the Iliad. Um, actually, hindi pa siya start because the introduction and preface is just is this thick. I will explain or I will make a separate reading vlog for the Iliad and because I want to document my feelings about reading it, not about the story but about reading it because it's too big for me. Um, I just realized it's too intimidating pala. I'm having second thoughts today to purchase the war warranties by the Utah store. Yeah, so actually one of the reading prompts for this year the book that intimidates you so siguro pwede to dun kasi i listed um war and peace initially but na intimidate na dito because it's too big and it's it's a poem kasi and i'm not sure until when i will be reading this one so but i'm really interested i'm really excited um i'm gonna end my vlog today i'm not sure kung pera na ako ulit makakapag-post okay medyo busy this december this christmas days we're already on christmas break from work but i have tons of files to segregate here i plan to um organize my laptop my folders and my books and my tracker medyo madami akong gagawin to get ready for the next year kasi I want to be more organized next year so um, it's already 23 I, o- I only have what 8 days for December I'm not sure if makakaabot ako sa 10 books per month because on November I had 10 books plus 2 DNF so ngayon I have what I already have two DNF and two books. So I know I promised a November wrap up, but I didn't have enough time to, you know, sit and talk long. So maybe I will just wrap up my November and December reads. Or even 2021 reads, because I started October. I restarted October, the bus. So I think Pedians is a vlog. Let's see. So that's it for today. Happy holidays, and I hope you enjoy your break, Homeron Man. And if you like, remember to rest and be well. I'll give you ukulele lessons Monday mornings if you're free We can go to wherever we like There's so much out there to see